Good morning, afternoon. Um, we had a midnight madness like two weeks ago. I decided not to drive, or I drove it, but I didn't film anything. Um, we've learned some recent news about our track. It's not very good news. It might be closing May 28th. Um, there was a, a bid from the, the current general manager, uh, which was actually a good bid. I felt like he was going to make it, you know, get the, get the track. And then uh, a couple days later, another company um, put in a bid also that was like six times, you know, bigger, if not more, than uh, the bid that was on it currently. And if... I'm kind of bummed. If the zoning gets changed from entertainment to industrial, we're going to lose our track. Which sucks because I, I, my first time ever drifting was at this track. I've given so many ride-alongs, introduced a lot of people into drifting that have never done it before. And now they have cars and it sucks. Like our closest track is three plus hours away and just means drifting just gets more expensive not surprised but we'll see what happens maybe maybe the council will not rezone it and our track will stay but we won't know anything for a little while so but we're heading to Memphis International Raceway for an oval lot drifting event should be a lot of fun um, it's a good open area where we can kind of just make our own kind of cone course and just have fun and progress as a driver, give ride-alongs, try to get more people interested in drifting, but we'll have some drifting here in a little bit. Peace out. So this is where we're going to be drifting today. Uh, let's see, focus, the oval lock. And we might, might, might get to drift inside the oval if time persists. We'll see what happens. But, yeah, should be a good day.
check this out. Jacob has possums in his back seat. Oh, Alright, so we're drifting yeah, over at the oval track <laughs> and they're yelling at me to come check something out. Check it out, Brad. Check it out. Sick, bro. What the fuck? That's so random. Well, get it out. <laughs> Grab that tail, Kate. Okay? I don't know not. that's a good idea. You gotta take it home. <laughs> they don't oh, made a nest up there and everything. <laughs>
I didn't film that much today. Um, I just wanted to drive. Like, I love filming and editing and, you know, putting a video together and, you know, sharing our experiences with drifting and whatnot. But I just wanted to drive today. But it was a good event. Everybody had fun. Nobody broke anything that I know of. Actually, no. Take that back. Eric broke a differential, but they opened up the oval track, so we got to drift on the bank some and in the bank parking lot, and it was a good day. Like, we might be losing this track, which sucks. Like, it, it really sucks. If it gets rezoned, we won't have a track anymore. And I hope it doesn't get rezoned. I hope you know something happens they don't rezone it and we still have a track and the general manager wants more drifting events you know I just it's a bummer but we'll see what happens we still have two more events uh, there's a midnight madness I think May 1st and another oval side lot May 15th or 14th it's it's around that weekend, but I'd like for everybody to come out to it, support our local track at least these last two events, and go from there. But you'll know, have a good night, good day. See y'all later.